Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I had to go to the post office this morning and mail off a couple of challenge entries that I had and some friend mail. And I had to run to Walmart and get supplies for my festivities tonight with the kids, which isn't a lot. Um, we stay up until midnight, we eat junk food, we play board games, um, and that kind of stuff. I let the kids have soda, they're pretty excited about it. So, anyway, I had to get some groceries for that. We're just having like meatballs. We do finger foods and junk foods. So we're having like Rotel and meatballs. I am got the husband peeling apples because I'm going to make an apple pie. And I got Jack peeling oranges because I'm going to make some orange marmalade. Um, and the big one is the 14 year old is in his room not participating in life as usual and the baby is taking a nap so i went into walmart point of this whole story is is i went into walmart and they had just marked all of their christmas things down to 75 percent and so there was a couple things that i wanted but i didn't really want to spend the money on it until it came back down um, so I was still not satisfied with the 50% off and I said to myself, well, I'll just wait. If it comes back down a little bit more, then I'll pick the things up if they still have them. If not, not that big of a deal. So, um, I just wanted to real quickly show you the last of my 2016 clearance haul from Walmart. And then I have a couple things from Dollar General because I had to stop in there too. Um, so I will be going to... Cape next weekend. I'm pretty excited about that. I'm going to hit up the Target for their Valentine's Day stuff and I probably will go into Tuesday morning to try and find some goodies for my giveaway challenge that's going on. Um, if you haven't seen that, um, look at my playlist. I'll try to remember to link it in the description bar below. I don't know if I will because by the time um, I get done making this video, I'm going to go in there and start prepping my apples and my oranges for marmalade. Hopefully they'll have that stuff ready to go for me. Um, and then start cooking up all of my goodies for this evening's festivities. And we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but anyway, so 75% off. So all their ribbons were a quarter. And I am feeling a little guilty about this. These two ribbons here were my favorite ribbons of the season. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm just so fond of this teal color and silver or what the deal is. But I had bought some of this regular price um, when the season started and I kind of hoarded most of it. I did send some paper clips and some things out with this print on it. But now I'm feeling a little guilty about it because I got it. I was afraid I wouldn't find any more. Um, and I just love the print so much, uh, but now I'm feeling a little guilty that I didn't share a little bit more of it. Um, I did buy two in the beginning of the season, and I did send out an entire roll, and I hoarded one. So I guess it's not that bad, but still, I feel a little guilty. Anyway, so these were a quarter. These were my favorite Walmart ribbons from this year. As a matter of fact, that was my favorite ribbon from all the stores. Um, and then I found this bigger one, which I did not see. This one's got like glitter to it. You probably can't see that, but it's got like glitter in the circles. And this one is not. It's a little bit thicker. I did not see this one at the beginning of the season. So either I was so enchanted by the other one that I just didn't pay any attention to it. Or they didn't put it out until later. But I picked that one up. And I picked this one up the let it snow I did haul this one too at the beginning of the season sorry my curtain is down I'm washing it um so we got a little bit extra light in here um and this let it snow I love that ribbon as well um I this is my favorite width of ribbon to work with on paper clips and tassels and things um so you'll see me haul this size ribbon a lot I don't know what that is. That is like a 3 8 inch. Um, and then 
I found this one, which I did not see at the beginning of the season, or so I would have bought some because I like it too. It's like a tan color, but it almost looks like a light burlap color, and I like burlap things with the little red snowflakes on it. So cute. I found this one, which is a little bit wider than what I like, but it'll work for wrapping packages and things. Um, and it just says Merry Christmas in the blue. And then this one also says Merry Christmas, and it's like a tannish burlap color in the back with the red. Loved it. And then this one. I love this one too, and I did not see it. Um, my style of anything crafty is very bright and cherry for the most part. I do make some things that are semi shabby chic, I guess, but I'm not really good at it. But my Christmas is definitely traditional um, bright colored things with the blue and the silver or it's straight up the green and the red. Um, so that's just what I prefer. I like when somebody gets a package from me that it automatically just brings a smile to their face because it's so bright and cheery. Um, I hope that comes across when people open them. I don't know if it does, but that's what, that's just the way I roll. So each of those were 25 cents. Um, and then they had a whole bunch of these left. Um, and when they were 50% off, I was like, hmm, you know, um, I, I wasn't going to pick them up at that price, but because they were now 48 cents or 49 cents, I decided to pick these up. They will go great in the middle of wands. I can turn them into paper clips. They are, you know, flat in the back. So I picked up this. And this was the only one like that. I really enjoy. I really like these. And if they would have been another pack or two there, I probably would have picked them up. Then I picked up this also. This also flat snowflake. These are the mini ornaments. But you could do so many things. I like adding these pieces in the middle of my wands. Um, because I don't do rosettes paper style because I do not have a scoreboard. Um, but I do do the cupcake liner ones. Um, and I'm getting ready to post a tutorial on the cupcake liner rosettes that I do do, um, either today or tomorrow. So look for that if you're interested. Um, and um, so because I use the cupcake liners and I don't go through the trouble of scoring the pieces of paper in that jazz, I feel like um, I need to add a little bit of extra extra to the, to the centers. Or sometimes I add stuff to the back if it's bigger than the rosette. Depends on how big the rosette is. Um, so, it you know, I put a little extra inside the center because I use the cupcake liners. Um, and they turn out, they turn out cute either way. Um, and then I picked up this right here, which is just the candy canes, also flat. So there you go. Those were 49 cents a piece or 48 cents. I can't remember. And then I found these guys here. Um, these are the holiday plates. Um, these are not like the bendable ones like I had made some three tiered like uh, cheese ball things and cookie dishes and stuff these are a little bit more sturdy than those um, but I got them basically as serving dishes purposes only um, I, I don't know how much they were originally but I only paid 37 cents for them they had them in red and they had them in gold but I'm not a big gold fan um, especially when it comes to the things inside my home I'm not a gold fan um, I do like putting gold in Valentine's Day projects, but basically that's really it. Um, unless I know somebody who's a big fan of gold, I usually don't craft with gold. I don't buy things that are gold. Um, but needless to say, so there was a ton of gold plates left. There was only two red ones left, so I went ahead and picked them up because they are sturdy. And you can use these for Valentine's Day cookies and I will you know when we have get togethers and things like that I'll probably wash these up and use them to put um, some of my plated things for tonight's festivities on it um, they're just really good sturdy plates to have for decorating or displaying your food items for holidays and gatherings and things um, so the last thing I got at Walmart were these holiday light lights and they, there's a hundred in the box and they are the mini lights 
and um, I bought six boxes because they were on sale for 57 cents. Hello. So I bought six boxes of those and the reason why I bought six boxes, the reason why I bought lights at all is because my um, artificial tree that I've had for 10 years is going kaput and we are going to be getting rid of it this year um, because it's just time to get a new tree. My husband wants to try and get a real tree next year so I have decided to not even buy a new artificial tree this year um but the one that I currently have I bought 10 years ago and it's like a $300 tree and I end up paying seven bucks for it and it's lasted this long but with kids and 10 years worth of putting up and putting down it's kind of lost its willpower so um we are going to change it up next year and we're going to get a real tree we're going to go and cut one down even and make it a whole thing we used to do that whenever I was a kid but whenever I was a kid I lived on a farm and we didn't have to go anywhere to cut down our tree we just went out into the the forest back in the back of the house and found our tree and cut it down and brought it to the house we didn't have to pay for it so anyway um that's what we're going to do next year with that. And I'm going to change up my decor a little bit next year as well. For the last 10 years, I have been doing pink and green and silver on my Christmas tree. Down all the way down to my lights are pink and green. Um, so this year, next year, I mean, we're going to do multicolored, changing up the decor a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. I'll probably turn off my ornaments and pink and green ornament. Um balls into DIY so stay tuned for that in like a year you know um so I went to Walmart to try and find just little blank note cards and I couldn't find any that they didn't want like a good trillion dollars for I think it's ridiculous the price of cards at Walmart um when I know I can get you know blank cards at Dollar Tree or Dollar General or wherever for a dollar like I can't pay I just can't bring myself to pay six or seven dollars for a pack of eight or six cards. Um, I, I just can't. I just can't do it. Um, so I stopped at the Dollar General here in town and picked up these blank cards for a dollar. And if you look up there, that says they retail for three twenty-five. Like, and they do. They probably do because at Walmart they probably are three twenty-five. But. Needless to say, these are blank ones, and I needed them, and I paid a dollar for them, and I just couldn't bring myself to do it, but I wanted to have some blank cards because I'm getting ready to send out several challenges. Um, I'm finishing up um, about seven challenge entries this weekend. I have about five of them done. I'm going to be posting video responses um, over the next couple of days for all of these. Um, and then so I can get them out in the mail, um, next week sometime. Oh, next week is going to be so busy for me, so I may not get all of it mailed until Friday or Saturday, but, um, you know, I will do my best to get them out as soon as I can. It just depends on how my week goes. The post office is usually closed by the time I get off of work, so, um, sometimes I can get to the post office, um, on Fridays before they close but 90% of the time I mail my stuff out on Saturday because it's the only day that I have that I can get to the post office before they close um, so while I was at Dollar General I picked up those two packs of cards and they had their cards for 50% off so these were originally the dollar cards and I I mean look at that I picked up two of these because uh, A, they were 50 cents and I will just stash those away for next year. And I used this pack of cards which I bought at the beginning of the season and I just love this card and they had another one. If they would have had, you know, four more, I probably would have bought them because I just love this card. Um, and so I picked up another one of these and then I just picked up this one because I like that bright light in the front. Um, the red and the green. I just love it. It's the way I do. That's how I roll. My Christmas style is. Um, 
and if I could craft like this with the little vintage whimsical feeling then I would but I can't so I mean I've tried but I don't think it comes across as cute as those little girls ice skating right there and so they were starting to put out some of their um, Valentine's Day stuff and I had hauled from Dollar Tree um, red gems like this similar to this one there actually I believe is a little bit more in these packs than in the other pack but the only one at the Dollar Tree was um, red so I picked up this purple one and Dollar General did have the red ones in this style and I picked up the pink ones because hello pink's my favorite color and I'll probably share some in the giveaway who's to say you never know about me um and then I found this little sticker pack of yummy treats with the cakes and I really got it because of these Hershey Kisses and they are um, they're puffy some of them are puffy some of them are flat you know how Dollar General does with their stickers um, but they were just too cute and I figured while I seen them I'd grab them so I did this cupcake here has a donut on top of it no it doesn't it looks kind of it looks at first glance like a donut but it's just a chocolate swirl Either way, so cute. Alright guys, that does it for this video. This will be my last video of hauling um, clearance and or Valentine's Day stuff for 2016. I am planning on going to Target next weekend and Tuesday morning, hopefully to score some of Target's Valentine's Day items that I just keep seeing that is so stinking cute and I've got to get my hands on it. Um, but going down to Target and to Tuesday morning, I have to plan it out. Um, A, because I want to make sure I have enough money that I can spend. And I don't feel like I have to pick and choose what I buy because I only go down there every so often because it's about an hour and a half away from me or so. Um, and it is a chore for me to get down to Cape. Um, but I'm going to be going this coming up weekend and I'll be going to the Dollar Tree down there. There's two Dollar Trees down there. I'll probably stop and look at both of them. Um, there's a big one and then a smaller one. Um, and then I will be going to Target and Tuesday morning um, next weekend. So we will see what we can find, guys. I'm so excited about it. I wanted to go this weekend, but then I was going to go Friday because I was off work on Friday. Um, for the New Year's holiday, most people get off work on Mondays. The doctor's office is not like that because sick people need to be seen at the beginning of the week because they have had four days now of not working or um, getting sick. And so, anyway, the um, we were off on Friday and I had every intention on going down to Cape this past Friday. But then both of my two smallest children were throwing up the night before all night long. So... I chose not to do that and stay home with my children because that's what parents do when their kids get sick. And I was a little heartbroken and crushed about it, but uh, not getting to go on my shopping trip. But I'm confident that I will still find some Valentine's Day things down at Target. I know it's just like, you know, the end of the year and that there's still two months until... Valentine's Day, but I have so many Valentine's Day projects that I have set up to do um, between now and Valentine's Day. Plus, I have my giveaway challenge going on, and it's Valentine's Day oriented, so I need some Valentine's Day stuff. I know people don't like like that it's too early, but I got to plan stuff out because I'm a busy lady. Anyway, um, I'm just rambling now, so I'm going to get off of here. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I will link my giveaway um, challenge down below if I remember by the time I upload this video. No promises. Um, but if not, it's in my playlist. So just um, head on over to the to my playlist up there and it'll be in its own. It's my first giveaway, so I have created a playlist for giveaways and it's the only one in there because it's my first one. 
So um, if you have any questions, you can leave them down below or you can send me an email. I'll also have that in the description bar below. All right, guys, I hope everybody has a great new year. Um, and I hope you guys celebrate it with your families and create new traditions for your family. Um, all right, we'll see you. Bye.